stuff to, I don't know, Walmart, I guess. Let him, let him come out a little earlier. <laughs> Trying to find the tags. It's been a bit since I, since we've seen these two, so probably not there. All right, it's straight up Ray. It's three letters. Like, I like the pick of controller scheme. Works really well. For, really, works really well with Ike. It's nice down tilts and affairs. <laughs> I respect your decision, kid. A. And just deleting Masa's tag from the stream setup. What kind of message he's trying to send. <laughs> Anyway, now for this matchup. Hold on one second. Kid A said that's fake news. There is no message there. Don't don't hate him. Oh okay. Oh, I didn't hear him. Okay, so no 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 uh, no salt whatsoever going on. Sure. We'll see. We'll see. So we got Ike versus Bayo, and I believe they're uh, on opposite sides of what their camera is. I believe. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, I can Bayo. If I were Ray, I would ban Lila and Sma um, Battlefield. But uh, Smash is a really good pick for Ike as well. Alright, and this matchup is extremely hard for Ike just because there is no way he can approach. Uh, the multi hits, the bullets, the base of options, and Ike's slow frame data just makes it super hard. However, Bayo is super light and Ike does kill extremely early. And his arrows are somewhat safe on shield, uh, as long as you space them out to the maximum potential. Yeah, you can. You can definitely get safe, uh, um, safe approaches as well on that. But, it, but uh, Ray, being former PR, nothing to sleep on right here. Oh look, he has the eye out of it. Good stuff to him. Totally that's the eye out of that rapid jab. It's away, guys. That's the eye away. Right. Ray just gotta bide his time and just be careful. Oh, that's that fair was definitely not spaced enough correctly. Kid A gets a grab. All right, extension dash attack. All right, just gonna punish that. What? Uh, which time with uh, dash attack? Ooh, tries to go for a tomahawk grab, but barely misspaces that. Kid A tries to protect himself as he comes down from ledge. I guess wish time or bats within counter that fair. Alright, Ray doing pretty good for himself against probably a really, what an extremely bad matchup. Right, perfect shield to the down air, and that's gonna be an up tilt punish that's gonna kill at round 100, I believe. Good stuff to Ray. Noticing that situation and getting the optimal punish right there. Ooh, tries to go for Tomahawk, cross up, down to it. is out of that rapid jab again. And that up air is going to take it as well. Went straight up. Alright, so Ray just needs to get out of this combo and he will be pretty fine. Only takes 60%, not too bad. I just needs a few fairs and basically does 16 in so. Gets the last hit of jabs to knock Kid A off stage. Alright, catches him with up B. However, does not get any more out of that after, except for a fair. Alright, punishes the F tilt with a witch time. Let's see what Kid A is trying to do. Back air into up air, but does not get anything else out of it. Alright, gotta be really careful about how you punish that side B. Alright, Ray at the ledge. Kid A mixes it up with a get up attack, and Ray does not expect it, and he now gets caught in a combo. Is that gonna be it? Yeah, Ray did not DI that well enough at all. He went straight up. First game going to Kid A. 
Yeah, one thing that people gotta watch out for is that you have to DI the last hit um, after the ladder combo with Bayonetta. Because up air is gonna come out, up air and air is gonna come out, you just have to DI away from Bayonetta at that point. Since you had a better angle than just straight upwards. Alright, going to Battlefield. Gets a dash tag punish from the side B. Perfectly spaces himself away from the shield. And now has Kid A off stage. Tries to read the uh, jump get up, but Bayna side B just a little bit better than Ike's in air. Alright, rapid jab. Ray does SDI out of it too. It's not punished with the down smash fast enough. Alright, so what Kid A is gonna get off of this. All right, last hit of that Witch Twist is actually going to send him down. It's not extend the combo. All right, up air. Bats, uh, bats within does mitigate that slightly, but he still takes half the damage, which is still nothing to laugh at because it's ice up air. Anything that Ike does to you is just going to do a lot of damage anyway. All right, up throw. It's not getting anything out of it, though. Bayonetta at not having any follow-ups out of her throws just make it extremely hard to play against shield. Just, at this point, Kidage has to just base with back airs and just deal damage where he can. Alright, does not punish the side B actually on the stage. Alright, Ray rolls from the ledge and Kidage is now in a worse spot because Ray has all the stage control he wants. That fair, not going to take it yet. Battlefield coming in clutch for Kidage. Alright, does punish that witch time though. Is he gonna get an up air? No, does not get an air dodge out of it. But up tilt's gonna take again a counter to the, si the side B. It's stuck to Ray reading that option. Alright, does not go for the rap jabs. He knows that he just wants to get some type of punish out of it instead. Alright, down tilt fair, nice 20%, easy. Reads the roll, gets an air, back air, 45%. All right, mixes it up by fading back and doing upbeat. Oh, tries to go for some style right there. I don't know what Ray was trying to do right there. Let's not get a pivot grab. Kid A, let's find a way to get back on. Tries to go for the extremely brave fair off stage, and does make it back also. Here, dodge this platform, but Kid A does punish the shield actually. All right, does not get the jab into grab. Confirm. One backer, definitely gonna take it at 200%. All right, still takes half the damage from that backer right there. Ray on the ledge. It's gonna be really bad for Kid A. Jumps off, does get the down air, sends him away. There, up B, Let's see what edge guard he can do. Oh, he does not go for fair train off the side. All right, he could have punished that fair, but it's fine. It's four throw, bullets, extra damage. Does counter the side B with his own up B. Oh, he ran out of, I don't even know what he did. He just ran out of jumps and just fell. Second game going to Ray. Wait, didn't Ray win the first game? Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. No, I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah. We're all tired. It's Saturday. We should be sleeping. But, uh, no, we got tournaments uh, to go to. We're running back to Battlefield. The stage isn't horrible for Ike because Ike can get up smash, like, punishes with, uh, with a, uh, with, like, air dodge reads or wish time reads onto the platforms. So there's that for Ray. However, Bayonetta does do well on triplats because, you know, big hitboxes in there covers basically everything. All right, does not shield that side B. All right, should get punished right there, though. However, Kid A does roll into the ledge, and Ray does not get a punish. All right, reads the Tomahawk by just keeping continuously jabbing. Does not go for the upper off the top. All right, punishes the witch time with up throw and a, um, up, up air. All right, Kid A has got to find a way to seal the sock because it is Ike. Ike just needs at least one more throw combo, maybe a read. And Bale can die. 
All right, up B does not get anything followed up after that. Hike to higher percent. All right, does get a dash attack punish off that side B. Extremely punishable side B to the ground. All right, lands with a fair. KDA off stage. Tries to read a roll with the jab. Does get a dash attack, however, and that's going to seal a stock. All right, staying at 150. Hike being a big boy is not going to die from forward or off the ledge. So. Ray doesn't have to worry about it too much. He can just stay in shield this entire time. However, he does play himself right there and does fare the top platform unsafely. All right, just follows him and just dashes, dashes attacks. And does get another back air out of it. It's not punished that much time, though. All right. Kid has got to be careful about how he witch times. Ike being one of the better punishers in this game. Alright, yeah, just puts him in a bad situation right there, actually, and just continues to get jabbed even more. Almost got the up air right there. Is that, that is not a true combo, by the way. You can just DI away. And that Vortel's going to take it. Ray's going to take the game to 1.